What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. So today we're gonna to be talking about a big topic of conversation in the weight loss and body positivity community. So what we're gonna be talking about is actually a trailer that recently came out for the Netflix show Insatiable. So what the controversy for this show is, is that there's a lot of people saying that there's body shaming and body image issues that are going on in the trailer and it's like the prominent reason for the show. And a lot of people are obviously upset about that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play a little bit of the trailer so you guys can kind of see what the show is gonna be about and then I wanna give my thoughts. My name is Patty. <laughs> High school was a nightmare. Fatty Patty's huge. It smells like bacon. <laughs> Every day I wondered, how much more of this can I take? Then it hit me. Now what? Now, I could be the former fatty who turned into a brain. Or an athlete. Or a princess. No, I'd rather have her fat. I want them to hurt like I hurt. I wanted more. I was insatiable. So after watching the trailer, what I'm getting from the show, what it seems that it's about is Patty Jenkins, or the lady that plays it, Debbie Ryan, is in high school, she's an overweight girl, and she obviously is bullied and ridiculed and people are making fun of her. And that is something that I can relate to being in high school, right? And then she ends up getting in this crazy accident, she gets punched in the face, and she has to have her jaw wired shut. Having my jaw wired shut lost me more than just my summer vacation. So apparently, with that happening, she lost a lot of weight because she wasn't able to eat, and now this, she's this super hot girl, right, that has all of these options, and now, instead of like trying to just fit into the norm, she decided that she's going to get revenge on people, and it seems like she kind of goes overboard, but again, I understand that because this is a comedy series, it's supposed to be kind of over the top, right? So the issue that a lot of people are having is they're saying that this is body shaming. Saying that you can't live the life that you wanna live, you can't be popular, you can't be hot if you are overweight. And when she lost the weight, that's when she had all these opportunities and that's why people are saying that this show is wrong and this show shouldn't come out on Netflix. I personally would say if you just look at the show at surface level, that's what I would get from it too, right? You can't be a popular girl until you lose weight. Now, I will say that I'm sure a lot of people are not happy with the fact that she got her jaw wired shut and that's why she lost weight. I personally, I think that's kind of silly, but again, it's a comedy, so it's not like it's affecting me too much. And the issue that I kind of have with people <laughs> having an issue with this show is that the first and foremost is all we're seeing is a trailer, right? So obviously there's going to be a lot more to this show. I would say if you end up watching the show and you still think that it's terrible, then 100% you have the right to, you know, talk about how bad the show is. Obviously you have the right to talk about how bad it is with just the trailer, but you have the right and you have the knowledge after watching everything to be like, these are the reasons why I don't like the show. Now, I think it's kind of silly to get really up in arms over just a trailer because you just haven't seen the full picture yet and you don't know what you're gonna be getting from this show. Personally, for me, one of the first things that I saw and kind of thought about was like, it's really interesting to see how bullying can affect people and that's what this show could be about, right? It could be actually about the, the negative effects of bullying someone because of their weight. So there's actually an article on Teen Vogue that kind of talks about this a little bit more. So the producer of the show, Lauren, she says, I felt it was really important to look at bullying head on and talk about it. And what young women and frankly young men are taught about appearance and how much appearance matters and whether it's okay to look different and if it's okay to be different and the feeling of not enough, which kind of leads through all of these characters. So I guess personally for me, this trailer, it really didn't bother me. Actually, after watching, I was actually kind of excited to see the show uh, just because it's like everyone's fantasy, right? when you are going through high school, getting bullied for whatever it might be, it could be weight, it could be anything, right? You always have those kind of dark fantasies of what you would do to the people that were bullying you and I feel like this show is going to go into that and just go really over the top and it could be a really, really funny show. But again, I do understand why people might be upset by it. I do understand why some some people are out, honestly outraged about it and they want, they're, they're telling, they're saying that Netflix needs to completely cancel this show. For me, I think that is completely over the top and it 
is kind of silly to say that before ever even seeing the show or seeing a whole episode, right? You're only seeing a two minute trailer and it's just kind of giving the basic layout of the show. So to be super outraged and, and try and get a show completely shut down or canceled before it even sees the light of day and you can actually give a full opinion after seeing it, I feel like that's kind of silly. And I also tried to put myself back in my old shoes, you know, when I was 360 pounds, thinking about how I would have felt watching this trailer. And I genuinely don't think I would have been outraged or upset by it. I honestly feel like I would have watched it and. Been been excited about the show just because again it plays to those fantasies of that high schooler that I was in high school getting bullied those fantasies I had about what I would do to these people if I could get back at them and again for me that was something that that's something that I would have been interested in and I still am interested in it so at the end of the day I'm actually really excited for this to come out mainly because I would love to see people's reactions after that they've been able to watch the whole series and honestly I would love to know what I feel after I watch the whole series and if, I, if all of these ideas that I have still hold true or these thoughts that I have still hold true because again I haven't seen it yet either so I'm just kind of basing everything off of my own opinion so again with that said I would love to know what you guys think like did you if you did watch the trailer what do you think about it did it upset you if you're someone that's overweight or someone that's trying to lose weight or whatever like does it make you upset does it make you kind of excited does it does it seem like something you would enjoy because I, I genuinely am curious about where the split is if it's just a really vocal minority that's very upset about this and they're trying to get this you know this series taken down or if it really is a good chunk of the population that feels like this show is wrong and and trying to exploit people because again I, I only know my opinion and I can only speak from my opinion so I have no idea what the split might be so if, if you would I would love for you guys to share down in the comments your opinion on this and what you think about it so with that being said I'll make sure to link the full trailer down in the description as well as that article from Teen Vogue there's actually some really good stuff in there so I think that it's it's pretty pertinent to what we're talking about today but with everything being said I want to say thank you guys very very much for watching today's video make sure you like comment and subscribe there's one other thing that I wanted to say oh yeah look up off I am <laughs> obey the warning signs and when there are flashing lights or wigwags don't attempt to cross until they come to a complete stop